This is lesson 21, which is VHDL example 9. In this example, we'll design a quad 2 to 1 MUX. Now, you remember that a quad 2 to 1 MUX we can make from four regular 2 to 1 MUXs, as shown here. And you remember that the logic equation for each of these 2 to 1 MUXs is just y is a n not s0 or b n s0. So the question is, we wrote a logic equation for each one of these. So the question is, can we write a single logic equation in which the y's, the a's, and the b's are 3 down to zeros? Well, the answer is yes, if you uh, follow one little trick we have to do. And this shows you how to do it. Here, a, b, and y are all 3 down to 0. Well, in VHDL, if we write the logic equation y is not s uh, and a or s and b, like you might think you could do, it turns out that the arrays have to be the same. So we really can't just use s here. We have to define a signal s4, which is also 3 down to 0. And then we'll concatenate four S's together. This ampersand symbol means concatenation. So S4 is just S3, S2, S1, S0. And each of those bits is just whatever S is, this input S, 0, 1. So we get S, 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 S. So this is a 3 down to 0. And now we use the S4 in here. So this is this single logic equation will expand into four logic equations, namely y3 is not s3, which is just s and a3, or s and b3, and similarly y2, y1, y0 will be not s and a0, or s and b0. So this is a little trick you have to remember. So that will work. The easiest way to do it, however, is to use the if statement that we had for a 2 to 1 MUX. And if you remember, this is exactly the if statement we had for the 2 to 1 MUX. If s is 0, then y is a, else y is b. But in that case, a, b, s, and y were all just of standard logic. Well, if we just change a, b, and y to standard logic 3 down to 0, this becomes a quad 2 to 1 MUX. And we can just keep s as standard logic here. So if s is 0, this s is 0, then y, this 3 down to 0, gets a 3 down to 0. That means y3 gets a3, y2, a2, y1, a1, y0, a0, and so forth. Same for b. So this is the easiest way to make a quad 2 to 1 mux. We could also use this. Uh, uh, conditional assignment statement that we had. Again, a, b, and y are all 3 down to 0. s is standard logic. And we could just write y gets assigned a when s equals 0, else b. So there are three different ways to make a quad uh, 2 to 1 mux. Uh, you could simulate any one of them or all of them and you'll get the same result. We could pick a to say 5. You could assign this to the fixed value, 16 pound 5. This means hex 16, so it's a hex number 5, hex number a. And uh, s is just a clock, 0, 1, 0, 1. And so notice that y is equal to a when s is equal to 0, 5, 5, 5, 5. And y gets b, a when s is equal to 1, a, a, a. So sure enough, this turns out to be a, uh, a, a uh, quad 2 to 1 mux. OK, to implement this on the FPGA, we need to make a top-level design. We'll use all eight switches, switches 7 down to 0. We'll use the top four switches, call, connect those to B, say, and the lower four switches will be A. Uh, S will be button 0, so remember we have to put 0 down to 0 because in the UCF file this is a standard logic vector. And we'll use the four rightmost LEDs, LD3 down to 0 for the output Y. We'll use MUX 24B, this is the one with the if statement, for our quad 
2 to 1 mux and then we'll just port map it up and A which is 3 down to 0 will get connected to switch 3 down to 0. Notice that switch is 7 down to 0. I'm going to pick off the lower 4, switch 3 down to 0 to connect to A, switch 7 down to 4 will connect to B, the switch will connect to button 0, and Y, which is already 3 down to 0, will get connected to LD, which is 3 down to 0. So this is the complete top level design. You can go ahead and implement this and download it to the FPGA, and if you're not pushing button 0, then the rightmost uh, four LEDs should be whatever the lower four switches are. If you do press uh, button zero, then the rightmost LEDs should be the same as the leftmost four switches be.